Good morning, kids, and thanks for joining me here in my living room for Karen Reads. Um, the book I have this morning is called Who Is My Neighbor? by Michael Grechniak. Uh, Michael Grechniak is the first illustrator and writer I haven't been able to find anything about. I'm so sorry I looked him up, but there's just nothing. Um, so maybe you'll have better luck than I did trying to look things up. The one thing I can say about him is that I did figure out that he makes his illustrations by cutting out pieces of fabric or felt or something like that and gluing them on top of other pieces of fabric or felt. And you'll see that as we go through the book. Okay. He dedicated this to his imaginary friend. That's really interesting. So maybe you can think of that as we go through the book. Figure out what his imaginary friend was like and why he had one. And maybe you have an imaginary friend. My sister did when she was little. I remember that so clearly. Okay, so... Who is My Neighbor by Michael Grezniak. I live on the edge of town. The sky is always cloudy here. The streets are always gray. No one else lives in my building except for the man upstairs. And you can see the light on upstairs in that man's apartment. I used to watch him through my window. He'd leave at the same time every morning. He'd come back at the same time every evening. I could never see his face. It made me a little afraid. Who is my neighbor, I would wonder. One night, our electricity went out. Phil, go upstairs and borrow some candles from Mr. Hart, my mother said. Why me? I asked myself, climbing higher and higher. I knocked on his door. When it opened, all I could see was, see was a smile and eyes. Can I borrow a candle? I asked. Please come in, said my neighbor's voice. Get me out of here, I thought. I didn't see any furniture except for a table. On the table was a hat. Look inside, said my neighbor. Was that where he kept his candles? But I found none, nothing. Then he reached in. There's a little boy looking inside the hat. Catch, he said, and pulled out a bright yellow ball. Next came a blue one, and a green one, and a red one. My neighbor reached in the hat again, and out hopped one, two, 
three rabbits. I tried to pet them, but they hopped away. Nay! What's next? A horse pranced out and I jumped on its back and around and around we rode till I got so dizzy, dizzy I had to jump off. Roar! I was on a lion's back. How did I, I get here anyway? I asked as we leapt through a ring of fire. Ouch! An elephant was squeezing me with his trunk as he lifted me onto a trapeze. I grabbed hold and swung higher and higher. Then I let go. Whee! I flew through the air and came down on a round full moon. I jumped to a half moon, then to a quarter moon. And then to just a sliver of a moon. Down I slid and slid and slid until I landed boom on the ground all around me my neighbor's room was swirling a flying circus filled with magic was I dreaming there was my neighbor smiling down at me Suddenly I remembered why I had come. Can I borrow a candle? I asked again. Look inside, he said. Look inside now, he said. I reached in the hat. And there's everything flying around him. Do you think he'll find a candle? Inside, I found a twinkling star. My neighbor said, take it home. Now we had light. Everything was brighter than it had ever been. I still watch my neighbor walk down the street every morning and come home every evening. From my window, the sky looks less cloudy and the street looks, the streets look less gray. My neighbor waves to me and I wave back. I hope I can visit him again soon. Okay, so because of a need during an emergency, um, they needed a candle. Because of that, he got to know his neighbor, which is a really cool thing. He, I mean, he found this incredible gift at his neighbor's house. So maybe during this time, you're getting to know your neighbors in a way you hadn't before. And I hope you're finding some gifts there. All right, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.